so we're talking about decentralized exchanges and Cardano. I mean, there's a lot of people involved with Cardano. How do they connect? So in a nutshell, uh, Cardano is the leading proof of stake implementation right now of sort of these smart contract platforms. And what Ethereum Classic is, is it's very, it's a lot older, it's very tested, and it has proven this sort of element of uh, decentralization and immutability. And it is a system that is proof of work only. So it's an entirely different consensus mechanism than what Cardano has. And it's a lot slower than Cardano because it has to do mining and, and all of that. But it's a valuable part of sort of an interconnected uh, ecosystem. So if you think about it, you know, where I sort of see things going is you're going to have sort of these Cardano applications, which are incredibly high performance, potentially an order book, for example, that could be living on Cardano. But then you have sort of the actual custody of assets or different things that maybe don't need to be as fast, but need to be really decentralized. Those can be living on ETC, which is more of a proof of work backed chain. Uh, so it's kind of closer to, to Bitcoin's architecture than um, Cardano is. So it's sort of this symbiosis of newer, advanced research in the areas of proof of stake, uh, basically L2, and Ethereum Classic, which is much more traditional, uh, decentralized. There is absolutely no company behind it. It's a community-led effort. And that is more of a layer one that can be sort of tapped. So when Cardano deploys Plutus, what needs to happen? How, how are you going to connect Cardano to the Saturn network? I mean, uh, from my understanding, uh, we would more wait for the mainnet release of the KVM uh, Cardano computation layer in order, then we would be able to pretty much deploy a decentralized exchange on Cardano without much problem. And I think that's part of, uh, the names of the Cardano roadmap are a bit strange. I think it's part of the Corgon roadmap. I'm not sure how you pronounce that word. Yeah, Gogan. Gogan. Gogan, right, Gogan. I think it's part of that roadmap, uh, if I've read it correctly. And once the KVM mainnet layer is, is kind of live, then it becomes much easier to deploy smart contracts onto Cardano. And that, that would open up the possibility of, of deploying a, a decentralized exchange on, onto the Cardano blockchain. Do you know if the Saturn team plans on doing that? I mean, we are very committed to bringing a decentralized exchange to every blockchain. It's just as, as I kind of alluded to earlier, you know, we're a very, we're quite a smaller project. As we mentioned, a, a grass kind of roots project. So it, 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 it really depends how things move along. We really like the direction Cardano is going and followed kind of the updates. And, and also, and our community members have noticed that, you know, Charles, he does an idol in our, in our chat group and shares his own updates there. So we've already had some interesting conversations with him. And it makes, I mean, it, it definitely, from my point of view, Cardano looks like they are kind of, they're looking like they will lead the way in, in kind of smart contract safety and, and cutting edge cryptography, whereas other blockchains that could be considered these new kind of mainstream blockchains like Tron or EOS, they seem to be doing a couple of things that, that don't really fall in line with people that, that believe in online privacy or decentralization, which I think for, for a decentralized exchange makes a lot of sense. Uh, so there, that's pretty much that.